Okay, so I'm not a YouTuber. Uh, I watch YouTube all the time. Um, but I thought I would post this and give people some hope. Uh, I had Velvet hit my main display tank pretty bad. Um, it's a 75 gallon tank. Uh, I had about 11 fish in there. Um, all of them have died except for my purple tank right here. Um, this has happened over the course of the last two, three days. Like with most people, I've uh, been thinking it was just ick and um, it was kind of coming and going and then all of a sudden, bam, one by one, um, I was losing my fish left and right and that was when I realized that it was velvet. I've been doing this for 17 plus years. Um, never come across velvet, always just had ick. Uh, so did not think that this was going to be an issue. Um, but it got me. So uh, yesterday I did um, try a uh, peroxide dip. Um, so that was one gallon of salt water to about 20 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. That's at 3%. Um, after I did that, um, my purple tang started to peak up um, and show that it wasn't giving up. Uh, I also had a diamond head goby in there as well. Um, I uh, let them soak for 30 minutes, but actually uh, because the tank, I was trying to set up this uh, quarantine tank because I had one set up at one point, but I, I tore it down for some reason after I set this, this tank up. Um, and so I had to make sure that the temperature was going to work out. Uh, so the purple tang ended up being in there for closer to 45 minutes, almost an hour. That seems to be what was uh, the right time because I only did the gopi for 30 minutes. Um, and he didn't make it. He didn't make it up through the night. Uh, but I have fed him some pellets. Um, he uh, was receptive to that and, and swam around to get it. Um, and so far, seems to be acting a lot more like himself. I have uh, put some copper into the water just maybe 20 minutes ago. Um, but a quick rundown of my setup is I just have, I, I went out to Petco and bought a little El Cheapo 50 watt heater and a thermometer gauge. Um, I hope you can see what the temperature is there. Uh, just because I don't want to contaminate anything else with copper. I did get the Seachem ammonia alerts and pH. I wasn't really concerned about the pH as much as I was the ammonia, but to get same day delivery, that's how it had to come was in a packet, so I didn't really care. Um, and I just have a hang-on filter up here, just with the sponge in there. I hope I don't regret that, um, that it, it'll house the, the velvet spores or whatever, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, the other thing that I got was this quick start um, denitrifying bacteria. Uh, just to make sure that it was safe because like I said I haven't been cycling much with this um, But I'm going to try and Update see how things go hopefully I Will at least have saved one fish out of my 11 fish uh, my lost uh, black and white clownfish that I'd had for 11 12 years I have a lost a regal tang, um, like I said, the diamond head goby, I had four pajama cardinals, I had a royal gamma, um, I had um, three um, antheas in there, I can't for the life of me think of what, what they were called, the specific antheas, but uh, they were the orange variety. Anyways, um, 
If you have any thoughts, suggestions, let me know. Um, otherwise, hopefully somebody out there who maybe gets velvet, maybe these suggestions might help. Like I said, this guy seems to be doing pretty good.